Welcome to the Emergency News Network, serving the state of North Dakota. It is a beautiful day right now when summer is now beginning. All schools across the state are now closed due to summer break, and the kids are going crazy right now. I myself am excited for summer this year, as I plan to do a lot this year. It is Wednesday right now, and here is our 7-day outlook. Tomorrow, sunny skies, all day. High 77, winds moving east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday. Hold up, a message from the emergency alert system is about to interrupt this program. Please stand by. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Governor of the State of North Dakota. A strange situation is currently taking place in the state as of now. Some strange and funny reports came in about these two, circles attached to each other, flying in the sky aimlessly. Normally we would not make such a big deal about it, but people are beginning to panic, as these circles could mean something bad as almost every little thing in this universe means something bad these days. Trust me, I think it's weird too. As of right now, we are advising residents across the state of North Dakota to keep on a lookout, for anything suspicious. It is unknown if these flying circles are hostile, but if these circles are hostile and do whatever hostile thing they do, all residents for the state of North Dakota are advised to shelter and place. To shelter and place. You are advised to do the following instructions, should a shelter and place warning be enforced, get indoors immediately, close all doors and windows, close all fireplace dampers, seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape or damp towels, and make sure to have plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, a battery-powered radio for the duration of this emergency. But right now, these circles are harmless. As of right now, all residents for the state of North Dakota are being told to stick to their daily routine, and to, be sure to watch the sky for anything suspicious. Should anyone find anything suspicious, call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to his station for more information on this unusual situation. Welcome back to the Emergency News Network. A strange situation is currently taking place in the state as of now. Some strange and funny reports came in about these two circles attached to each other, flying in, the sky aimlessly. Normally we would not make such a big deal about it, but people are beginning to panic, as these circles could mean something bad, as almost every little thing in this universe means something bad these days. Trust me. I think it's weird too. Also, a weird smell has been reported all across the state of North Dakota. It smells bad here too, as if someone farted. Nobody has a clue what the cause of this is, but we do not have a good feeling about it. As a precaution, 
All residents for the state of North Dakota are advised to shelter in place. To shelter in place, you are advised to do the following instructions, should a shelter in place warning be enforced, get indoors immediately, close all doors and windows, close all fireplace dampers, seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape or damp towels, and make sure to have plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, a battery-powered radio for the duration of this emergency. But right now, these circles are harmless. As of right now, all residents for the state of North Dakota are being told to stick to their daily routine, and to be sure to watch the sky for anything suspicious. Should anyone find anything suspicious, call 911 immediately. The Environmental Protection Agency is currently trying to investigate the terrible smell. Stay tuned and stay safe, not like there's any danger at all. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Environmental Protection Agency. A ton of farts have been reported all across the state of North Dakota. God, they sound so disgusting I feel like throwing up. I can hear them from here, and these farts are literally spreading a bad odor. In addition, it began raining poop in large cities across the state. Dude, there ain't a cow in the sky. Some people have even died from the awful smell that is currently spreading across North Dakota. As a result of this awkward situation, all residents for the state of North Dakota are advised to shelter in place. To shelter in place, you are advised to do the following instructions. Get indoors immediately. Close all doors and windows. Close all fireplace dampers. Seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape or damp towels and make sure to have plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, a battery-powered radio for the duration of this emergency. Make sure to have a lot of perfumes and deodorants so you can smell good. If necessary, wear a mask to protect you from the awful smell. Stay tuned to his station for more information and updates on this not-so-dangerous and gross situation. What. The. Heck. Was. That. Welcome to the Emergency News Network. I don't know what the heck is going on here, but this is something only, Fairyland can experience, and somehow we, as human beings, are experiencing something totally gross. About an hour ago, many farts were heard across the state, and it was raining poop too. As of right now, the state of North Dakota smells horrible. This entire event is trending all over Twitter and basically all over social media. Some people began to spread rumors that these circles could be, bots. And I mean, human bots. In other words, the bots that are on the center of our bodies on the back side, which release poop when we do number two in the bathroom, are just like these flying bots. While this is not confirmed at this time, it is a theory that's pretty likely to be true. Man. This is going to be the top meme this year. Please stay tuned and stay safe.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Environmental Protection Agency. It has been confirmed that the flying circles that have been reported one hour ago are, actually, not deadly, but are still hostile. Everyone, this is going to be funny and weird when I say this. These flying circles are flying butts. In other words, the butts that are on the center of our bodies on the back side, which release poop when we do number two in the bathroom, are just like these flying butts. These flying butts were last seen releasing poop all over the state of North Dakota. These flying butts are the cause of the event that happened over two hours ago, as well as the awful smell. It is unknown where these flying butts came from, but people are taking extreme precautions so the situation will end soon. All public restrooms across the state are closed and will not reopen until the situation is over. Please, do not start riots in the bathroom, even though that would be hilarious. Use your bathroom to do your business. This will not be an excuse to start riots or commit crimes, as you'll be arrested and charged. The EPA is trying to find solutions to this situation, as well as the flying bot situation. At this time, all residents for the state of North Dakota are ordered to shelter in place immediately. This will prevent you from being pooped on and you smelling like poop, unless you don't follow these instructions. Get indoors immediately, close all doors and windows, close all fireplace dampers, seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape or damp towels, and make sure to have plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers a battery-powered radio for the duration of this emergency. Make sure to have a lot of perfumes and deodorants so you can smell good. If necessary, wear a mask to protect you from the awful smell. There is a 25% chance where you could be killed by this poop. The hardened poop is only the risky one that could lead to death or injury, but as of right now, it's very unlikely. Very few deaths and or injuries have occurred since this situation started. So I'm gonna say, this is not a dangerous situation, for once, and that we all should stay calm. Bruh, who would actually panic during this time? My father was literally laughing his butt off when the farts were being heard. Stay tuned, to this station for more information and updates on this, not so dangerous and gross situation. What? The? Heck? Flying butts? Man, we are in crazy world now indeed. Welcome back to the Emergency News Network. So the flying circles have been confirmed to be flying human butts. My phone is literally exploding with texts from friends and family about the flying butts in North Dakota, and many people are talking about this all over the internet, the radio, TV, everywhere. Heck, this has already become a meme and I think it's going to be trending for a while. The funny thing is, there was a riot in the bathroom at Walmart recently. I don't know where this Walmart is, but somebody filmed the riot and posted it onto YouTube, and the video is literally going viral. Anyways, at this time, you are advised to shelter and place immediately. To shelter and place, you are advised to follow these instructions. Get indoors immediately. Close all doors and windows, close all fireplace dampers, seal any cracks on doors or windows with tape or damp towels, and make sure to have plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, a battery-powered radio for the duration of this emergency. Make sure to have a lot of perfumes and deodorants so you can smell good. If necessary, wear a mask to protect you from the awful smell. Stay tuned and stay safe.
immediate evacuation for the state of North Dakota. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Environment Protection Agency. The flying bots have grown bigger, which means the poop is now a little bigger. If the poop is hardened, it could lead to death if hit by it. Reports are now coming in about poop falling on buildings and destroying them. Power lines have also been damaged due to the massive poop crushing them. Tree damage has also occurred during this time. Because of the massive poop damaging many areas across the state, all residents across the state of North Dakota are ordered to evacuate the state immediately. When evacuating, do not go to some other city in the state. Evacuate the entire state of North Dakota. Make sure you watch the sky for any falling poop if possible. The smell in North Dakota is so bad, it feels like the Black Death again or bubonic plague is occurring again. This is just an advisory, but to evacuate as far from the state as you can. Stay at least 10 miles away from North Dakota to be extremely safe. The EPA is still trying to figure out where those flying bots came from, but it has been confirmed that the toilets and human waste are not the cause of it, so public restrooms are now open again. The military is now planning to get involved to destroy these flying bots. Stay tuned to his station for more information and updates on this situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Environmental Protection Agency. Poop is all over the state of North Dakota, and the smell is beginning to spread to other states across the central United States. Other states across the central United States are now being ordered to evacuate those states. The EPA is struggling to figure out where those flying bots came from, but so far is not successful. In addition, the military has been dispatched to destroy these flying bots, but due to the awful smell from the poop, they had to retreat. They will come back with powerful gas masks to avoid the awful smell. People have been reported to have died from the awful smell from the poop. The worst part is, these flying bots were beginning to spread to other states in the central United States. It is expected for these flying bots to spread across the entire central United States in the next four hours. All residents in the central United States are ordered to shelter in place immediately as staying outside will increase your risk of being crushed by the poop. In addition, you might die from the awful smell. The Environmental Protection Agency (EPA), as well as the Federal Emergency Management Agency (FEMA) are working on a solution to this situation, and this time, they are giving all they got. If you have an idea to end this situation, call 911 immediately. Your message will then be sent to both FEMA and the EPA. Here's how you can protect yourself. Do not go outside. Do not look at the sky. Have a gas mask with you, should the smell somehow enter your home. Seal any cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels. Most importantly, remain calm at all times. Who would actually panic in a situation like this? I would be laughing my butt off. But sadly I'm not doing that, because I'm super grossed out about what I'm seeing all over the floor. Anyways, if you smell like poop, take a bath, as the smell from the poop has been causing people to die believe it or not. Stay tuned to his station for more information on this gross situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the EPA, Aunt, FEMA. You know who I'm talking about. The flying bots have spread all across the central United States. Massive poop has been reported all over the areas affected. Deaths and injuries have occurred throughout this smelly situation. Extreme damage has been reported all across the central United States. Due to the massive spread of these flying bots, 
They are expected to spread all across the entire United States and it is possible where the mass could spread across the Atlantic Ocean and beyond. In addition, the CDC is now getting involved with the situation, as the awful smell is said to be a pandemic now because many people are beginning to die from the awful smell from the poop. There is a 50% chance that you may get killed by the poop if hit by it. The buildings are suffering, the most from the poop. But, we have some good news for you too. The EPA and FEMA have found a solution to this flying bot situation. The solution is to launch cannonballs at the bots. If the balls hit the bottle, the bot will blow up. However, like everything else, this has a price, and the price is a terrible hot fart smell, with a bunch of poop splattering everywhere. They will start performing this operation immediately and will be in effect until the situation is over. Stay tuned to his station for more information and updates on this situation. All clear everyone, finally. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the Environmental Protection Agency. All of the flying, bus have been destroyed. However, there is poop all over the central United States and some surrounding states. In addition, it smells really bad around here too. The CDC and the EPA are currently taking care of the smell, and are asking all residents in the affected areas to leave now. If you see or smell poop anywhere, evacuate your current location now. This is a required order, and should you decide not to obey it, you will be forced to leave the area or arrested. This concludes all operations of the emergency alert system. Oh, 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 oh,